Okay, in this video I'm going to do an example of integration using partial fractions and what's called a rationalizing substitution. Basically it says if you have kind of a random root floating around in there, a lot of times doing a substitution equal to that uh, root will, will get rid of it and actually turn it into a partial fractions problem. So the idea is here we have this square root of um, x plus 2. If I saw x squared plus 2, I would maybe think trig substitution, but um, even then, you know. But, okay, in this case, we're going to let u equal the square root of x plus 2. Okay, I need to calculate both x and dx to replace in this formula. So, if I square both sides, I get u squared equals x plus 2, which means u squared minus 2 is equivalent to x and likewise I can take the differential dx and get 2u du um, on the left side. Alright, so if I replace everything here it looks like I'm going to get the integral. Okay, so you can think about the dx as being on top. dx is going to be my 2u du. Um, and actually I always like to pull my du's off to the side, so I'm going to write it as 2u du. We know that x, the x is equal to u squared minus 2, so I'll plug that in, u squared minus 2, and then we have minus the square root of x plus 2, but that's what we called u in the first place. Alright, so really what I have here now is I have the integral, I'll pull the 2 out front, u over u squared minus u minus 2 du, and that's what I now have to start working on. So I can do my partial fraction decomposition, u over u squared minus u minus 2. I believe that factors as u minus 2, u plus 1 in the denominator. And then we have to do our partial fraction decomposition. So we'll get a over u minus 2 plus b over u plus 1. Okay, so I'm going to go back up to the top here and give myself some room. Maybe I'll leave my little original substitution in there. Oops, leave my 2 in there as well. Okay, so back at the top, if I multiply now both sides of my denominator, again you multiply both sides by, well you multiply both sides by the denominator, u minus 2, u plus 1, and then u minus 2, u plus 1. So I, I've got videos on my website where I talk about all this stuff, the partial fraction decompositions um, and all these other things, because partial fractions is a pretty long technique. So this is just an example for those of you who know all the, the nitty gritty. Okay, so it says on the left side you're going to get u. On the right side when you distribute, you'll get a times u plus 1 because we have to distribute the whole term out so the u minus 2's will cancel and then plus b times um, u minus 2. Okay, and now what we want to do is figure out a and b and what you can do is you can pick clever values that will either cancel out your a term or your b term. So notice if I plug in u equals negative 1, on the left side I get negative 1. On the right side I'll get a times 0 which will cancel out. I'll get b times negative 1 minus 2, that's negative 3. If you divide, we'll get b equals 1 third. Likewise, I can plug in u equals 2. On the left side, I'll get 2. On the right side, I'll get 2 plus 1, or 3. And so I'll get a equals 2 thirds. Okay, so we are originally integrating this uh, u over u squared minus u minus 2. We said you could break that fraction down into these equivalent fractions. So now we're going to rewrite our integral as 2 times the integral of a, which we figured out is 2 thirds, over u minus 2, plus b, which we found was 1 third over u plus 1 du. And at this point, now all we have to do is integrate, and really you're just integrating these separately. So I'm going to bust up the integral. I'll get 2 times 2 thirds, which is 4 thirds, the integral of 1 over u minus 2 du. Then I'll get plus 2 thirds, 
the integral of 1 over u plus 1 du. And if I integrate both of those, I'll get 4 thirds the natural logarithm of u minus 2 plus 2 thirds the natural logarithm of u plus 1 plus c. Let's just plug our u back in and we'll be finito at that point. So it says we'll get 4 thirds the natural logarithm of the square root of x plus 2 minus 2 plus 2 thirds the natural logarithm of the square root of x plus 2 plus 1 absolute value all plus c. Alright so again I uh, went through this a little quickly to make sure I stayed under the 10 minutes and um, also too if this is the first example probably not a good place to start so I certainly have some other partial fraction uh, videos on here and also on my website so you may want to take a look at those as well. Um, if you have any questions shoot me an email um, otherwise good luck out there.